there's something going on with women right now that I'm beginning to notice is a consistent trend that is very disheartening for where or it just goes to show you how bad they've been led wrong, led down the wrong path. I see women on a consistent basis sabotaging relationships, knowingly or unknowingly. I see it consistently in today's world. The wrong people, they let the wrong people in their ears. They leave they're looking for love in the wrong places. And we could argue that men are doing the same thing, but this is geared specifically towards women because this is what I've noticed about women. Maybe I'll get to the guys in another video, but this is just where this video is leading me. This understanding we have to talk about because women, don't understand for the most part, or they refuse to understand that what their ideology is, it doesn't work. In real time, it doesn't work. And they're waiting to the last minute. They don't understand it until it's too late, damn near. And there's not much you can do at that point. So I got three points I want to hit on why women are sabotaging their relationships in today's culture. Before we get too far into the video, I just want to remind you really quickly, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, if you like the video. If you guys want to support the channel, all the ways you can support are in the description below. When a woman gets a certain mindset, once she gets a cognitive bias in her head, whether she, she knows it's wrong or not, you kind of just have to let her go because she's going to destroy whatever it is. Whether it's the mindset of I'm a strong, independent woman, where it's the mindset of you ain't shit. It's going to destroy it. Once she has her mindset on that, it's over. She's not going to listen to anything else but anything that listens that that feeds that cognitive bias. So these are the things of what I've noticed about women. Some of this is heartbreaking. I wouldn't necessarily say heartbreaking. That you know, heartbreaking is like some something you use as a teenager. Some of these things may shock you. I've been knowing these things for some time now. Um, women are loyal to their emotions. If a woman doesn't feel good, if you aren't giving her um, the dopamine hits, she's going to find somebody else that does. This is why one of the reasons why, I'm not going to say it's the main reason, this is one of the reasons why you don't see relationships last. Women are so quick to jump ship. They think a relationship has no turbulence. Everything isn't good all the time. But this is the culture of people that we're raising right now. They're easy to quit a job, easy to quit a relationship because they're not happy. Just imagine if men had that mindset. When you're in war and you're seeing your guys get picked off left and right, your emotions say stop. Your emotions say don't do it. Some days when you go to work, your emotions say don't go. You hate your job, but you know you have a responsibility to take care of, so you endure it. We don't have that generation anymore where people are, endure, are enduring the bad parts of anything. Plus, women are the ultimate followers. If they follow, if one woman is saying the ultra feministic talking points, they're going to be like, yeah, girl. 
And what's even worse is even the traditional women will co-sign it because they don't want to be alienated from the womanhood. Just all the problems are compiling, right? Which leads me to my next point. I mean, this point is huge. And this is, you would think women know women since they're women. But it's like what Drake said at the beginning of Slime You Out. I don't know what you girls need. Like you need somebody to micromanage you, tell you who's right and who's wrong for you. Because women don't understand how easily other women sabotage them. Women are super passive aggressive. They're not direct like us men. See, us men, after a certain point, you're like, okay, bro, do we need to throw hands? Like, what, what, what is this? Like, there's no, at some, it gets direct at some point. Women, it's forever passive aggressive. And if you try to address it directly, she'll gaslight you. So when another woman is saying, you know, you should wear that scantily clad outfit with your butt cheeks hanging out and your boobs exposed. When another woman is egging you on when you have makeup on and you look stupid. When she's talking ish about your boyfriend saying he ain't ish, even though he's doing a lot of good things, he's doing more good things than he is bad things. When they're egging you on to cut your hair, to cut it down super low, those women are sabotaging you for their own self-interest. One of them could be misery loves company. She can't find a man, so you shouldn't have a man. So she's going to feed you the cognitive biases that you want to hear so you can be just as single as she is, even though you could have a good man. Also, she could be doing it because she knows you're a threat. You're the attractive woman in the group. She's attractive woman in the group. She can get more attention if you cut your hair and look more manly. She knows other guys are going to get more attention or give her their attention to her because you're wearing a scantily clad outfit. You're more likely, she's more likely to get ahead and get more attention, do better. Which is why these women egg you on to do some of these stupid things. Just for you to leave that night and for him to text her other friends and say, she thought she really was doing something. She looks stupid as hell. I've noticed when women are in groups of friends, there's always a fraction. There's always friction and a fracture somewhere in the, the woman's uh, friend group, always. Stuff that us men would never put up with. You guys hear about your girl. Some of you guys have had girlfriends or talk to women, and they'll say stuff about your friend, about their friends, and you'll be like, "Why are you still friends with them?" And then she'll still still be, still be friends with them. It's it's the stupid stuff in the world. Lastly, how women self sabotage. Women avoid the truth. They avoid it like the plague. And the funny thing is, they say they want the truth. But like that guy said in that movie, you can't handle the truth. You can't handle it. Just look at the gangster movies. All of them are lying to their women, all of them. You know what I'm saying? The woman don't want to hear, well, you know, we came, well, you know, how was work, babe? It was good. Uh, we had to, you know, delete this guy because he owed us money. We had to waterboard this other guy because, you know, he owed us money. We finally got the money back. After that, I mean, it was a pretty good, decent day. So 
women are going to have to snap out of it sooner or later if they want to get the results they want. Because where they're headed towards now, with by 2030, 50% of women are going to be uh, single and childless. People are already lonely. It's just going to double and skyrocket and triple. So hopefully they snap out of it. I see little bits and pieces here and there, but for their own sake, they're going to have to save themselves at this point. I don't know if us men, they're willing to listen to us men anymore. I don't know if we're that far ahead in, that, in our, um, I don't know if we're that gone yet. Hopefully they do. But that's my video. You guys like, comment, subscribe. Should the video like the video, I appreciate you guys watching to the end. You guys have a good day, a good week, and I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.